Hi, I am Dr. Laura Lamb, Assistant Professor of Urology at Beaumont Health. This video will explain how to collect urine for the interstitial cystitis study. If you decide to participate in this study, we may mail you a kit that will allow you and two other people without interstitial cystitis to provide urine samples. This should be one male and one female adult without any bladder or prostate issues, approximately the same age as you, give or take 10 years. If you cannot provide three samples, you can still participate in this study. All the material will be provided, including a box for return shipping. There is no cost to you. If you have interstitial cystitis, please use the container and corresponding materials that are colored purple and labeled as IC. If you are the male control, please use the container and corresponding materials that are colored yellow and labeled as male control. If you are a female control, please use the container and corresponding materials that are colored pink and labeled as female control. Each urine collection container has been sent with a powdered preservative located at the bottom of the container. This is normal and will help the sample be usable for researchers. We are asking for you to provide a clean midstream urine sample. This reduces the risk of contamination with bacteria from your hands or skin around the urethra. It does not have to be the first urine of the day. There is no minimum amount of urine that needs to be collected. Whatever you can provide in a single session is enough. To collect a clean urine sample, wash your hands. Start to urinate. Do not collect the first urine that comes out. Collect a sample of urine midstream in the container provided. Do not collect the last part of the urine. Carefully screw the container shut, making sure it is done evenly and securely. Carefully invert to make sure there are no leaks. Wipe off any excess urine from the outside of the container. Now invert the container 20 to 30 times to make sure the preservative mixes thoroughly within the sample. It is very important that the preservative is completely dissolved. Keep inverting it until it's suspended as best you can. Place the urine sample inside the provided bag. Inside of the biohazard bag is an absorbent tissue. Please leave that inside the bag and seal the bag before placing in the small box and envelope. These steps will protect the sample during shipping. Do not place in the fridge. Keep at room temperature and out of direct heat. Please ship as soon as you can. There will also be a short survey and a 24-hour bladder diary for each person to fill out. For the diary, start keeping track of when you urinate, have leakage, or pain with urination by checking the corresponding box on the sheet at the time it occurred. You can have more than one check per box if you use the bathroom more than once in an hour. Start this when you first wake up in the morning. Make sure to track when you urinate throughout the night and end at the same time you started the previous morning. Once you have collected all the samples and completed the voiding diaries, place in the provided return shipping box. There is no cost to you for return shipping. These packages will be picked up by FedEx. To schedule a pickup, you can call 1-800-GO-FEDEX or schedule a pickup online at FedEx.com. Do not place in your regular mailbox as U.S. mail will not ship to us. Please try to send on a day where it is not extremely hot or cold outside. If you have any questions about how to collect or ship the samples, please refer to the instruction sheet or contact us at 1-248-551-1383 and refer to the IP for IC study. Thank you again for your interest in helping with this important study.